Let's make tracks. Yeah, let's. <laughs> Feels so sluggish. Indeed. Over there! That's it, right? Huh. That's a dual horn? Yes, but not your run-of-the-mill breed. We best make quick work of it. Wait a sec. What? Scared, big guy? You ought to be, too. Thing's vicious. You sure? Looks tame to me. Yeah. Look out! Nice one. It's not over yet. <laughs> Ready for round two. Bring it. Stop! Yes! Sounds good. She'll be waiting at the garage. Gotcha. So, who's up next behind the wheel? Ignis should take it and never let go. It helps that he can keep four eyes on the dash. <laughs> I couldn't even keep one. Not sure I'd do any better. Put me in the driver's seat. Good. Because I need the legroom in back.
It's only so far a man can walk. Our Crown City upbringing didn't prepare us for this. Ugh, pretend you're walking to the car. Not! Try to hit him from behind! The odds are against us. It's not gonna stop us. Ah! It's rude to keep a girl waiting. You better apologize. Uh, uh, what is that? A live hurricane. That thing's like half bird, half storm, half airship. You realize that's three halves. Well, it explained its size. <laughs> awesome in every sense. Huh. 
shopping? Might not be a bad idea to stock up. Good to see you again. Much appreciated. Thank you kindly. They've got everything here. About the wait. Ain't she purdy? She's almost too pretty for the road. She's back. We should all get a picture with her. All the more reason to ride with care. Oh, and before I forget, would y'all mind making a little delivery for me? No, not at all. Perfect. Thought you'd say yes. So I already put it in the trunk. There should be a motel on your way to Galden. If y'all wouldn't mind giving that to the owner, that'd be swell. Grandpa like grandkid. Now that she's all polished up and ready for the road, would you care to take her for a little test drive, Noct? Sure, why not? And I needn't remind you to exercise caution. What's the forecast? Clear skies, with the temperature rising. Nice. Well, I'd say that's far enough for today. Might be wise to leave the driving to me until we found our bearings out here.
You all came all the way out here to deliver the goods. Well, thank you kindly. We'll dig it out of the trunk, so you all just sit tight. Hmm? Umbra, bringing us stuff. Had a boy. A dog can really track a scent. Certainly knows how to find us. How do you always know, boy? Just a sec. Nice flower. It's the same kind we sewed our crowns from. Oh yeah! Sill blossoms. So... Hmm? I have a favor to ask. Take the notebook with you when you go. Sure. That's not all. I want you to put something in the book and send it back. All set. Take care out there. I know. You're not gonna tell me. Then don't ask. What was that about? <sighs> you don't say. Now that our work's done, let's see ourselves to Golden. Hold on a sec, sir. I found an envelope addressed to Meldasio inside the package. Meldasio? The Hunter HQ? Yes, sir. The headhunter ought to be around here somewhere. Mind making one more delivery? What do you say, Noct? Might as well while we're in the neighborhood. Tracks. Ignis, we're going. On my way.
Everything in order? Yep. All right. For our next story, Lady Luna Freya of Tenebrae has issued an official statement regarding the forthcoming treaty. Words cannot express the joy in my heart on receiving word of this coming peace, nor the pride I take in my betrothal playing a part in this historic moment. On this joyous occasion, some have voiced cause for concern. The fear I will be unable to fulfill my duties as Oracle. Please rest assured, my marriage will not stand in the way of my calling. You will find me in your towns and villages, as you always have, and I shall continue to bless you all. Lady Luna Freya will set forth from Tenebrae for her wedding ceremony in the coming days. Please be advised that during this time alone, her duties as Oracle will be suspended. It's in the treaty? Of course. Simple formality. One of those symbol of the peace deals. So it's more like a marriage of convenience. Her ladyship seems nevertheless amenable to the prospect. And Noctir likes the idea. <sighs> What's that? I do? Buzz off. I see it too. That's Golden Key. Kinda wanna go for a dip. That a big mountain behind it? No, it's an island. Nobody goes to Golden for an island though. They go to kick back and get massages. And savor the seafood. It's famously delicious. Sounds great. Something to look forward to. Hey, Nox. Why don't we sleep there? They got something special? Ah, uh, a safe place to spend the night? The demons will be coming out any minute! Yeah, whatever. Woohoo! You heard him, Ignis? Yes, loud and clear. Might want to stock up on potions and stuff. Nice. You're being helpful for a change. What do you mean, for a change? Hello and welcome. We hope to see you again. Is this place amazing or what? The breeze is quite refreshing. Didn't think I'd enjoy the seaside this much. Well, sounds like it's made a good first impression. I'm afraid you're out of luck. Are we? The boats bring you here. What about them? Well, they'll not take you forth. And what's your story? I'm an impatient traveler, ready to turn ship. The ceasefire's getting us nowhere. <laughs> what's this? Some sort of souvenir? <gasps> they make those? What? No. Consider it your allowance. Huh? Yeah. And who's allowing us? A man of no consequence. Oh, yeah, right. Oh. Oh. Do you believe what that guy said about the port being closed? I'm skeptical, though I won't discount the possibility. I say we go check it out for ourselves. I just adore this shop. This is amazing. Well, you can't beat fish fresh from the ocean. No way. 
always serves it fresher than gold. Welcome to the Mother of Pearl. We use the freshest fish in every dish. Anything catch your eye? So, what do you want to know? Is the local lineup. Thank you for your patronage. Inside. What gives? According to my sources, the Empire, given strict orders not to let any vessels leave the docks of Altitia. Real shame if you were late to your own wedding, right, Prince Noctis? Name's Dino, by the way. Pleasure. The Crown Prince of Lucis bounty hunting in his fancy car. Surely you didn't think it'd go unnoticed. At least not by this reporter. Lucky for you, this reporter has integrity. If you want to remain incognito, I'll respect your wish. In exchange for a favor. What do you want? Hey, I knew you'd come around. Let me see your map. Marked where you need to go on your map. All you gotta do is find me some rough gemstones. Like this one. Do this, and your ship will come in. Don't, and the papers will run you out of town. Capiche?